This is Spencer, a lost baby bird. We looked for his mama but can't find her. Now let's search at this playground and learn about endangered animals for preschoolers. Let's go. <laughs> Hello calves, I'm Mr. Albie. I'm here with Spencer Spoonbill trying to look for his mama at this special park with all these rare animals. And what do we have here? Wowza, it's another kind of bird. What color is it? Blue. Yeah, this bird is dark blue with some hints of red and white. And over here you can see it's beautiful feathers on its body and tail. Wowza, come closer over here. Oh, its body's a dark blue. It's quite beautiful. Oh, you can also play at this park by climbing up here. Oh, having a good look. It's a beautiful bird. And down here, we can climb up. Over here, we can climb and then slide down. Whee! Oh, and have a look at this bird. These birds are really rare and special. And their name is the Mikado pheasant bird. Wowza! Oh, glad to meet you, Mikado pheasant. Now, oh, since Spencer Spoonbill is a bird too, maybe we should ask, do you know where Spencer's mama is? Oh no, this male Mikado pheasant bird doesn't know where the Spoonbills are. But he does say to speak it to his wife. Oh, over there, let's have a chat to the female Mikado pheasant bird, his wife. Oh, hello there. So this here is a female Mikado pheasant. It's different from the male one because it's brownish. Oh, it's amazing that the female is different color to the male one. Male being blue, the female more of a brown color. Now, did you know that Mikado pheasants like to live in forests and mountains and shrubby areas and grasslands? Oh, but is, is Spencer Spoonbill's mama around here? No, oh no, oh, oh, but she says she has some baby chicks around. Oh, a family of Mikado pheasants. Oh, great. Well, Spencer's looking for his family too. Let's play around and come over here. Climb up here. Oh. Uh, past the Mikado pheasant's wings. Jump down. Oh, and over here we've got a very cute baby bird Mikado pheasant bird. It's yellow and brown. It's not blue like his dad. Oh, what a cute baby. We're trying to look for Spencer Spoonbill's mama. You want to help? Oh yeah? Oh, we can climb on. It's going to give us a ride. Oh, we're going to keep looking around this park to look for Spencer Spoonbill's mama. Whee! Ah! <laughs> Spoonbill Mama, where are ya? Oh no, she's not around here. Oh, the sad thing about the Mikado pheasants is that they're quite rare. At one point there were only 5,000 of them left in the whole world. So this family is just trying to find a new home for themselves, which is safer. Speaking of which, whoa, there's another animal here at the park. Ah, oh, it's a little one and he's very cute. Oh, what color is it? Yellow. Yeah, it's yellowish with some black spots. Oh, it's climbed up right up here. And I think this one is an Amur leopard. Oh, just like the Mikado pheasants, these Amur leopards are actually endangered too. There are not too many of them left. In fact, they're even more endangered because there's only about 100 of them left in the whole entire world. Oh, the poor baby. But you know one special thing about them is they can climb up trees. That's why it was right up here. Climb so high. And they're different from normal leopards because other leopards live in deserts or hot climates. But these are more leopards. They can live in very temperate weathers or very cold 
snowy winters. So they have long legs so they can walk in snow. Oh, uh, look, look, Spencer. Oh, now uh, you wouldn't happen to have seen uh, Mama Spoonbill, did you? No, she hasn't seen Mama Spoonbill. Okay, so we'll rest you over here and I guess we'll keep looking. I guess everyone around here, all the animals, they're trying to look for a safe home. Let's keep searching for Mama Spoonbill. Come with me. Have a look at this next rare animal. Whoa, Spencer, look. This right here is a farmland green tree frog. Oh, and it's humongous. Oh, let's climb up. Whoa. Ah. Ta-da, wowza. Now, what color is this farmland green tree frog? Green. Yeah, it's light green with white as well. Oh, let's jump down and have a look over here. One of the really special features of the farmland green tree frog is its inflated vocal sac. So down here in its mouth, you can actually blow it up like this. You try as well. Yeah, this green tree frog can do that. It can make its mouth really big. Wowza. Now let's come up and, and check out the green farmland green tree frog. Come up the stairs so we can get closer to the farmland green tree frog. Ooh. Wow. Sure is big. Oh. Over here, he's got his two eyes. Have a look down there. There's a slide as well as a tunnel. Let's play with them, come on. Woohoo, let's go through this tunnel. Ah, oh, and up these stairs, so we can actually get closer to the farmland green tree frog. Hello. Oh, I've got to ask you, have you seen Spencer Spoonbill's mama? Oh no, oh, that's a shame. Oh, but did you know that farmland green tree frogs, they usually live in bamboo forests or fruit gardens and other places where there are farmlands. Oh, I guess Spencer Spoonbill's mama's not around. Oh, but did you know that the farmland green tree frog is endangered? Oh, you poor thing, there are not that many of them left. Oh, oh no. Well, let's go down the slide and keep looking for Spencer's mama. I hope you'll be all right. Wee! Ah, whoa! Yeah! Hey, there is another animal right here. Hello there. And it's hanging off the, off the poles. Hi. Now this right here looks to me like a pygmy three-toed sloth. Oh. Oh. oh, let's have a closer look at this sloth. Oh. <laughs> Hi there. Now, one special thing about the pygmy three-toed sloth is the fact that it's got three toes. Let's count them. One, two, three. Right. But the sad thing is there are only less than 100 of them left in the whole world. They're really endangered, which means there's not many left and we have to take care of them. Oh. Do you know what they like to eat on? They like to eat leaves of red mangrove trees. So that's where they generally stay, in that special place. Oh, Got to take care of them. And oh, maybe that's the same deal with Spencer's mama. Maybe she's, she, she's in trouble. Oh no. Ah. We'll say goodbye to our pygmy three-toed sloth friend. Hang him back up here. And we've got to keep searching for Spencer Spoonbill's mama. Ah, come on. Oh, we've searched all across this park and asked all the different animals, but I don't think we'll find Spencer Spoonbill's mama. Sorry, little guy. Because there's something behind what? you. Yeah? Where? There. Over there? You're right! There's a, there's a Spoonbill! Spencer! Spencer! Spencer, come on! A Spoonbill! It might be a mama! Come on! Come with me! Spencer, is this your mama? This spoon, Bill? 
Oh no! Oh, I really thought this was Spencer's mama because it's black and white, just like Spencer. Oh no, it was so close. Hey, speaking of black and white, what's this over here? Hey, it's also black and white. Looks like a little bear cub. Do you know the name of this type of animal? Yeah, this is a panda bear. And it's so cute. Oh, right. And panda bears, they like to eat bamboo and they eat and live amongst bamboo trees. But did you know that panda bears, they're quite rare too. There are only a couple of hundred of them a few years back, but they've been staying at reserves and special national parks to, to save them. And now there are about a thousand or more of them. Hey, wait a second. Maybe that's where Spencer Spoonbill's mama is. We'll put this baby panda back up here. Let's have a chat to this big old Spoonbill over here. Do you know where the rest of the other Spoonbills are so we can find Spencer Spoonbill's mama? Y'all, you do? And you'll take us there? We'll fly over? Oh, great! Come, come with me. Oh, oh. This Spoonbill says that there are a whole group of other Spoonbills just like Spencer. Actually, more than half of Spoonbills fly to these special wetlands at a place called Chigu. And there, there are a lot of spoonbills that eat fish and, and, and shrimp in shallow water because there are special wetlands that are safe for spoonbills just like Spencer and his mama. Maybe she's there. Let's fly over. Are you ready, cubs? We're gonna go see Spencer Spoonbill's mama. Three, two, one, cubs, away! <sighs> Oh, we have arrived at the Spoonbill Reserve where Spoonbills like Spencer and many other real ones actually get protected. Let's check it out to find Spencer's mama. Blackface Spoonbills like Spencer and his mama actually live in coastal areas and wetlands just like this one. And in fact, thousands of them actually fly here. The majority of them go right here in these wetlands so maybe she's around here let's keep looking the reason why all of those spoonbills come here is because it's during the winter time they want to come over and find food they like staying in shallow water to eat shrimp and and fish just right here now because we're in a protected area and we want to conserve them we're far away from where they would really stay. They'd be so far. So I think we need to use some special binoculars to try and look for the black-faced spoonbills and also to look for Spencer's mama. Come with me over there. Whoa! These special bird-watching binoculars will help us search from far away the black-faced spoonbills and Spencer's mama. Let's take a look. I see some black faced spoonbills out there in the distance, but I don't know which one's Spencer's mama or if she's even there. Spencer, you give it a try. Have a look. Do you see your mama? Oh, you see her? Oh, look, she's flying over. She's right there, Spencer. Oh, mama. Come over. Oh. How lovely! Oh, Mama Spoonbill and Spencer Spoonbill have found each other again. Oh, it turns out that Mama Spoonbill wanted all along to fly over to this reserve as a new home for both of them. Oh, because in fact, once a time, 
there was actually only 200 black faced spoonbills in the whole world and this reserve has been helping them out and there's about 2,000 of them right now but they're still really vulnerable. Oh. And when she was trying to look for this reserve, Spencer must have gotten lost. Oh, thanks a lot for helping them to find each other again. Isn't that lovely? Mama! Oh. Oh. Just so happy that they're together again at this Spoonbill Reserve. Until next time, Cubs away!